Hi, this is Roger DeRue, and my website is freecomputerconsultant.com. In this screencast, what I want to show you is how to actually restore a Windows XP uh, restore point, like the one we created earlier in the previous video. Now, interestingly enough, just two hours after I had created that last video showing you how to create a restore point, I was at a client's and someone had inadvertently, while trying to clean up their machine, deleted a whole bunch of uh, primarily shortcuts and uh, essentially took out the entire start menu. And I thought, wow, this could be fun. But I'd actually installed some software right before they did that. And as I'd mentioned in that other screencast, sometimes when you install software, it will actually do a restore point either before or after, or in this case, both uh, times. And you've got two restore points that you can go back to. So in this case, I was able to just uh, restore from that restore point after the installation of the software. We we're back up and running. It was great. It was just a few minutes time. So let's see how we can do that now. If we go down to our start button, and you can see it is in the recently used programs, but uh, go up to our, uh, our programs, accessories, system tools, and there we have system restore. That brings up this nice little uh, wizard here. And you can see, uh, We've got three options on the right, and we, we did talk about these system restore settings in the previous video, so I won't go over those again. But the default is to restore my computer to an earlier time. But notice also we could create a restore point or undo my last restoration. And so if you uh, do a system restore and it's still not the way you want it, you can either undo it or you can go to a different restore point and, and see if that doesn't get you back where you need to be. But this one is going to be what we're going to want this time, restore my computer to an earlier time. We click Next. And here you can see what we have here. We've got uh, the restore point uh, operations for today. We can see bolded dates in the calendar where there were system checkpoints set, uh, which XP does automatically, automatically from time to time. And uh, those are in bold. Go back here and you can see, we just take, okay, computer running, great. That's what we want to restore. And you click next and you get this uh, kind of a confirmation screen. It says, okay, this is when you've selected and uh, the, you know, the date, the time, and the comment. It does mention that this process does not cause you to lose any recent work or emails. It's completely reversible. And during this restoration, System Restore shuts down Windows, and then it'll restart. And uh, I can't record the screen as I do that, but it, it's just a nice little uh, dialog box that shows you the restore point being restored. Uh, it does take more than about a minute or two, depending on the speed of your machine. The system reboots comes back up and what you've got then is uh, just kind of a, a welcoming screen like this saying here's the restore point that we restored and uh, you can always undo it if that's not what you want. And you click OK and you're back into Windows. So we'll stop it right here but uh, this is uh, really about the uh, about as much as there is to it and uh, it can really bail you out. It happened just today, not two hours after I did that previous uh, screencast showing you how to do it. And I hope that you'll take the opportunity to create a restore point right now on the workstation you're working on might save you a load of time and frustration in the future. Well, this is the Free Computer Consultant. I hope you visit my website and I uh, hope this visit video has been of uh, value to you and thanks for watching.